Hey guys, it's Amy. Back to you to talk about CLEP and how your students can earn college credit for free while in middle school and high school. And I have my student <laughs> with me today. This is Evelyn. I want to say hi, Evelyn. Hi. <laughs> and Evelyn is here somewhat willingly to uh, talk about a couple, one of her CLEP tests that she's taken and how it went. So what test are we going to talk about? Uh, American History 1. All right, so that's listed on the College Board as U.S. History 1, and what time period from when to when? Uh, it's about from the colonization of North America to the end of the Civil War, Reconstruction. All right, so Reconstruction was part of the test, or it A stopped? little bit. It, it kind of continued in American history, too, but most of it was, I think, in, in History 1. Okay. What did you do to prepare for that test? Uh, just a lot of... A lot of reading on my own time. Uh, I found a book about Sacagawea that basically described the whole journey with Lewis and Clark out to the Pacific Ocean, and uh, that was really helpful, just describing even the native cultures and stuff on the way out, and um, a lot of books on the settlement and just uh, free reading on my own, okay. anything having to do with American history. So historical fiction, if you have students um, that like to read a lot, or maybe you've been doing a lot of read-alouds, um, about historical fiction, for example, Johnny Tremaine, Pocahontas, Settlement at Jamestown type things are all good ways to prepare. Um, so besides reading, curriculum wise? Uh, that we used America the Beautiful when I was first learning and then we kind of transitioned to using Khan Academy and Modern States. Okay, so we didn't use a textbook from beginning to end to prepare for American history. It was mostly online. Khan Academy, I'm sure many of you as homeschoolers are familiar with Khan Academy. They have awesome um, humanities courses, especially that um, we just go through the AP level and that seems to do a pretty decent job. Now, Evelyn is pretty blessed to pick up a lot um, just by listening. Are you a good note taker? I don't like taking notes. <laughs> okay, so she's one of those students <laughs> that, that can pick up a lot um, by hearing. Um, so then we just kind of rounded that out with reading, and then Modern States was pretty helpful. Yeah, but, um, yeah, Teacher on Modern States was maybe less helpful than on some of the other courses, so in that one I had to rely a little bit more on the documents that they provided on their website. Okay, and um, so our family, we try to take at least one, preferably two, practice tests before we actually go ahead and take the CLEP exam. So um, do you remember how well you were doing on the practice test? I was getting in the 70s, if I remember. Common advice out there is that if your student is able to get 60% or higher on two practice tests, that they're probably ready to take the CLEP exam. So she was scoring um, in somewhere in the 70s, 70 percent on the practice test. So when you were actually taking the CLEP exam, how did you feel about how it was going? Uh, first, the uh, first the tests are kind of scary, the way they're worded. It just kind of, if you're not used to reading like big language, it just kind of scares you reading the sentences. But if you can get your mind cleared enough and read over them, they're not actually so cruel <laughs> as some of the practice tests. Um, and what did you get on the test, do you remember? It was 65 or 68. Okay, mid to upper 60s. Yeah. So 50 is a passing score. The highest score you can get is an 80. So really, really good, decent score. So do you have any advice that you'd give to other students getting ready to take this exam? Uh, one piece of advice is just to really study the colonization of America. There's a lot of information there, especially Jamestown and Plymouth Rock and everything, like, everything in that era. And, um, another really helpful thing would be to know all the presidents in order, at least from that time frame, and to know what they did. That's, it at least, if even if it's not really pertinent to that question, it'll help you figure out, like, when things happened and who was in office. So. Yep, yeah, and we did use um, Crash Course for American History on YouTube, and also just picked out uh, one of the songs that is right on YouTube for learning the presidents in order, so that is pretty helpful too. That was great. Successful test, um, three college credits, and then she also went on and took the U.S. History 2 exam, and maybe if I can convince her, we'll talk about that 
in a future video. Jury's still out on that. So thanks for being with us, guys. If you have any questions for me or for Evelyn, put them in the comments. And um, we'll make another video and just uh, help you answer any questions you might have. Thanks.